people from Reddit confess their wrongdoings. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. I stole money from my son's wallet while I visited his house. My son, 20M, is much more successful than my wife and I, 43M. We are not in a great spot financially after my wife was laid off from her job while I was working a part-time minimum wage job. We barely make enough money to keep our house. My son invited us to visit at his home and stay for dinner. He lives alone in this huge house, from my standards, and that idea led me through this train of thought about security. As well as keeping an eye on everything in the house because my wife works for a home security company. We were short on money that month and while my wife was talking with our son, I found his wallet and I looked inside. There was a total of $150, give or take a few. I took a total of $70 from his wallet and went back to the room they were talking in. I feel really bad and embarrassed. My son can never know of what I did that night. I should have just asked him if we could have some money to get ourselves back on our feet. Son, if you find this, I'm sorry. I've been clocking in and then going back to sleep for two to four hours. I realize that my work can be completed in at most four hours of the day so I've been sleeping in to get more rest. Sometimes I'll run errands while on the clock as well. I get paid hourly and my boss never assigns me more tasks than I'm used to, so I usually just find myself trying to appear busy anyways. Would you happen to work in tech because this is exactly what 90% of us do. My dad is an IT manager and since COVID he's been working from home, I swear all this man do is watch Netflix and highlight an alert every few hours lol. Yes. That's exactly what he does. We're all thriving. I put peanut butter in my friend's drink thinking she was lying about her allergy. I was young, only in the second grade and had recently been taught about lying. After our lessons on sinning and doing bad stuff, I developed the idea that my friend, let's call her Lily, was lying about her peanut allergy and just didn't like peanut butter but was too ashamed to tell me because they were my favorite snack at the time. Not to mention the times when someone would bring in a snack for the class and we'd always have to check if they had peanuts in them. If they did, the whole class couldn't eat them so that she wouldn't feel left out. I was tired of what I thought was a dumb, made-up lie and decided to take matters into my own hands by bringing a big jar of peanut butter and waiting for the perfect moment to strike. Once at snack break I waited until Lily went to the bathroom to take out my peanut butter jar to slip a spoonful into her cup, shaking it good so she wouldn't suspect a thing. Once she came back, she sat down and drank some of her peanut butter infused water. As she did so I watched with wide eyes making sure to take in every detail, now convinced that she's been lying the whole time. Suddenly, Lily started coughing uncontrollably, choking and thrashing herself all over the floor. It also didn't help that she forgot her EpiPen at home that day, causing her to convulse and forcing my teacher to call an ambulance. It turned out she was severely allergic to peanut butter and I never had the gull to tell her what I had done that day. We're still friends today and she strongly believes that her father was trying to kill her that day since she got in a fight with him the day before regarding her dead mother. I threw a pepperoni pizza through someone's window. In high school every Halloween me and my friends would roam around the city being nuisances. We wouldn't egg houses, or TP, or anything like that, but we would drink, get high, and just be loud all night. Sophomore year while we were gallivanting we were passing a pizza shop owned by this girl we went to school with's dad. He was closing up shop, and was about to throw out a pizza but instead decided to give it to us. We opened the box to a stale-ass pizza. The pizza was so stale that I could pick it up out of the box and it remained intact. It was frozen in shape, so I did what anyone would do, and frisbeed that bitch off into the distance. A house across the street conveniently had a window open, 
and the pizza flew right in. Till this day I wonder what happened when whoever lived there discovered it. Just imagine you're walking to your bathroom, and there's just a large unexplained pepperoni pizza in your toilet or something. When I was a kid I kept the church offering money. So okay. I was a kid and stupid. Anyway, my dad used to give me and my brother five dollars each in the offering envelope to put into the basket when it came around. I would take the money and put an empty envelope into the basket. I kept the money to do dumb kid things like buy pizza, candy, take a bus ride to the mall, etc. Eventually, we got older and my parents weren't financially secure so we couldn't offer anything. But I can tell you that as a kid, $5 every week really added up. I would spend it on myself but normally I used to save the money and use it for something big like my mom or dad's birthday gift or offering, I get it, to pay for dinner because I low-key felt bad. I thought it was funny after and my mom and dad laughed about it. I screamed and destroyed half my brother's room at 1 a.m. For some background or whatever I have two siblings. One twin sister, 17, and one older brother, 23, my aunt and uncle, around his age, are also fragile x him and my sister will never mentally age past 8. Kinda like forever being stuck in elementary. He's yelling while I'm typing this. He really started getting bad around a year ago. He got diagnosed with aplastic amenia, bone marrow failure, and extremely low blood counts. Most of his blood counts are under 30. Lately, he's had hallucinations and extreme outbursts of anger. We never know what day he's gonna have. If it's a bad day consider it ruined. He's always been kinda like this but these past few months it's been worse. His personality is worse than his health. Extreme anger issues, selfish, and just downright evil sometimes. He won't help you unless he gets a treat. When friends of anyone come over he immediately asks if they got anything for him and if they didn't he gets mad and stomps around, demanding when they come back to have something for him. He's broken my mom's ribs before when he's had a tantrum. Always asking for stuff which means my mom is constantly low on money. All of her attention is on him. It's just want want want. A few months ago I lost my patience. I was extremely tired and out of it. Since February of this year he's been staying up late and screaming, growling, punching walls, and cussing loudly. Extreme anger that we couldn't do anything about. He's immune to melatonin or any other sleep med we can put him on. Him screaming I'll kill you and get the fuck out of my house is the worst part. It was about 1 or 2 a.m. I was woken up by him growling so loud it was vibrating the walls. My room is right above his. I went down there and he just got more mad when I said to be more quiet. The second time I went down there it was just over. I opened his door, yelled at him to shut the fuck up and swiped off all the stuff on his desk. I also destroyed a dinner plate. All the while I'm screaming at him I wish you were never born and how I hated being the only non-special needs kid in this house. Mom came down and asked what the hell was going on so I just went to my room and stayed up. Her and my grandpa spent the night trying to calm him down. I was left alone. I regret breaking part of his room but I meant what I said. He needs to be put in a mental hospital or a home. Thank you for watching. Click subscribe and don't miss another video.